All right, this is gonna be a quick and dirty video showing how to bypass this unable to activate screen on the iPhone 7. I believe this is due to a baseband issue, so a physical, uh, like a hardware issue with the motherboard. Um, you can bypass the screen and kind of use this like an iPod, um, but you'll, your functionality will be limited. You won't be able to use it as a phone, and I'm not sure if you can actually um, log in to an iCloud account uh, I'm not sure about that. You might be able to. Um, I, you could basically follow uh, any guide on how to essentially uh, just bypass iCloud Lock, and you can probably follow a similar guide of bypassing iCloud Lock and then logging into your own um, iCloud account. Uh, but I'm just going to show you how to get past this screen. Um, so to do that, you're going to need Check Rain and. Um, a computer that can run check rain. I'm using Linux and the reason I'm doing this is I tried to see if like there's an easy solution and uh, well the first two videos I watched were useless so uh, yeah I'm gonna try to figure this out as I go so hopefully this helps someone out. Alright so I have the iPhone plugged into my computer and we're just gonna run um, check rain here and we're going to put just run through this um, guide, I guess. Put this thing in the DFU mode. Um, get check rain installed, SSH into the phone, and remove the setup application. So then it'll just spring us into um, Springboard. So let's see, we got to hold the side button and volume down button together. Okay, so start. And it's gonna have us let go of that. And it didn't work. Okay. Well, could be that this cable doesn't work, so I'm going to try a different cable. Okay, yeah, so it was just the cable. Um, I got this from like a wholesale eBay seller. They included a cable, but cable didn't work. So yeah, sometimes if you can't get the device into DFU mode, you just have to try another cable. I've noticed USB-C to lightning cables will not work, um, but your mileage may vary. All right, so it looks like, yep, we got check rain installed. And now we're just gonna have to, uh, well, once this is done, we're gonna SSH into it and remove the setup application. So I will uh, get back once this is done. Okay, so the device has um, been jailbroken. The home button doesn't work, so can't get in, but uh, you're gonna need two terminals. Um, at least on Linux. So the first thing you want to do is use iProxy to proxy into the device and then whoops, the other one, that's not what it is, where is it? Oh, I pasted it. No, I didn't. There we go. You just have to SSH into it, so I'm using the port 2222, so we just use the port 2222. And I believe the password is Alpine. I typed that wrong. There it is, yes. So now we are in the device. Um, so now we are going to have to remove the, um, the setup application. So let me find the command for that. Okay, so now I just pulled up like a activation lock bypass tutorial. So I'm just gonna have, copy this and see if it works. Uh, this is just mounting the file system as read-write. This should remove the setup app. Let's do that. Oh, I guess we moved it, and then now we're going to get rid of it. Okay, we're going to go ahead. I guess, is that clearing the cache? That didn't work. Mm. Try dash A. I don't know. Uh, it seems to have hung. Nope, that worked. Okay, and now let's see if we kill... Uh, okay. Well, we don't have uh, kill all. Mm. Let me just kill. Eh. Kill. 
Let's see, maybe top it. No, we don't have top. Okay, let's just reboot and see what happens. We don't even have reboot. Okay. Well, let's uh, power this off and turn it back on and see if that works. And I will keep this rolling just so you can see. You know, there's no editing magic or anything like that. Haha! -ha. And it worked. We are in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see, we are in. Um, and, uh, yeah. We have successfully bypassed the, um, not activation lock, but I guess activation fail. And, um, yeah. So I'm gonna enable touch assist, because home button doesn't work, but you can see we are in um, iOS, and um, there you go. So, you know, this probably took me five minutes. So, once you have, if you've ever used Check Rain before and you have all the drivers installed for it, it's not too hard to do. And I'm just gonna um, turn on uh, Touch Assist so I can show you that everything is working. So I just need to get out of this. Okay, so, oops. As you can see, we are in uh, iOS, so we can open up uh, different apps. Let's see, I think even the app store would show us what's in here, even if we're not signed in. Yep. Um, so, yep, there you go. We are in, and we still have the no service thing going on. Um, and if we go to general, I believe we won't have an IMEI. I'm not sure how that works actually. Yeah, we don't have a carrier. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing an IMEI, so maybe that's why it's not working. It doesn't know what network it is. Um, so, yeah, baseband obviously not working, but at least you can use this a little bit more, you know, you're not stuck in the setup screen, so hopefully that helps someone.